In the beginning, there was darkness, and then bang, giving birth to an endless expanding existence of time, space, and matter. Every day, new discoveries are unlocking the mysterious, the mind-blowing, the deadly secrets of a place we call the universe. In the Star Wars universe, the Death Star is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction, able to annihilate entire planets. In the actual universe, the sky is filled with real life Death Stars. They can be thought of as sort of a time bomb. Some are dangerously close to our planet. Earth's life might take a bad hit when that radiation reaches us. And one has the Earth in its crosshairs. It was almost a shock. I didn't believe it when I first saw it. They are the Death Stars, and they make the universe a very dangerous place. Thousands of light years from the Earth, a supermassive star is preparing to hit the self-destruct button. Stars explode every day in the universe, but this one is different. It lurks in the constellation Sagittarius, the mythological archer of the celestial zodiac. The star is called WR104, and its destructive force could be targeting us and taking aim at our fragile blue planet with enough deadly radiation to ignite our protective ozone layer. This would incite drastic climate change, cause the extinction of many plant and animal species, and potentially the demise of mankind. WR-104 is just one of millions of massive Death Stars in the universe. These savage celestial bodies are aging giants, preparing to blast themselves into a stellar afterlife. At that point, the outer layers of the star have nothing left to support them against gravity, so they suddenly fall inwards. Their last breath can ignite the biggest explosion in the known universe. A gamma ray burst. A blast far exceeding the energy output of our own sun over its entire 10 billion year life. If one were to target the Earth, life as we know it could cease to exist. This is what could happen with WR-104, making it a real life Death Star. In the film Star Wars, the Death Star is the dark side's ultimate weapon. The predatory star is pure science fiction. But the reality is much scarier. A Death Star in real life is a star that blows up and blasts any nearby planets with deadly radiation. You know, that's a real Death Star. WR-104 is what's known as a Wolf Rayet star. They are the largest stars in the universe. Hulking beasts 30 times bigger than our own sun. Each of them counting down to Armageddon. Discovered by French astronomers Charles Wolfe and George Rayet in 1867, Wolf Rayet stars are the outlaws of the universe. Stars live by the credo, live fast, die young, leave a good-looking corpse. And the bigger they are, the faster they live, and the faster they live, the more violent their end. They burn through their nuclear fuel extremely quickly and exhaust everything that they have. And so consequently, they don't live very long, maybe a few tens of millions of years at most. And they're easy to find because they're the real T-Rexes of the Stellar Kingdom. They're immensely powerful. In the year 2000, Australian astronomer Peter Tuthill began studying Wolf Rayet 104. 
some 8,000 light years from Earth. This giant was ominously different from the others. Tuthill's team immediately noticed an immense dust cloud around it, 20 times larger than our entire solar system. We knew there was dust around Wolf Ray 104, and that was a puzzle because it's a bit like finding a snowflake in hell. There was a mystery there, and we wanted to try and solve that mystery. Over the course of six years, Tuthill used an infrared camera at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii to create a composited image from multiple exposures. It yielded an amazing time-lapse sequence. 104 was producing an exotic spiraling plume of dust. It was almost a shock. I didn't believe it when I first saw it. I thought, stars don't look like spirals. There's no spiral I've ever seen in a book. We then had a mad scramble. We had to try and understand how a star can produce this elegant tail. Tuthill discovered that the key to this strange dust spiral was the fact that WR-104 wasn't alone. It's locked in orbit with a smaller star in what's known as a binary system. Both stars eject masses of charged particles called stellar winds. These winds aren't uncommon in the universe. Our own sun creates a solar wind that extends beyond the outer planets. The difference is that in a binary system, when winds from the two stars collide, gases are compressed and dust and soot are created. But what causes this dust to form into such an exotic spiral? So it turns out that a, a lawn sprinkler makes a great analogy to illustrate the physics that's occurring in these colliding wind binary systems. We've modified this sprinkler so that it only shoots one jet out of the spigot. The single water jet represents the constant flow of dust particles being created by the colliding stellar winds. But because the two stars in wr 104 system are in constant orbit around each other, it adds a circular motion to the stream of dust. Your first intuition is that the water is moving in a circular motion. But in actual fact, the lawn sprinkler is really shooting a jet in a straight line. The water droplets, even though they're moving in a straight line away from the spigot, they uh, create an arc, and that arc wraps into a spiral with the rotation. The spiral spawned even more questions. The most troubling? Exactly what kind of Death Star could WR-104 become? Wolf Ray stars can be thought of as sort of a time bomb because they're so massive that they can't live for very long. And once they've burned up all of their nuclear fuel, there's nothing left to support the star against the relentless pull of gravity. And at that point, the core of the star collapses and the outer layers fall in on top of it and bounce outward in a tremendous explosion. The explosion is a supernova, an immense burst of radiation that briefly outshines an entire galaxy. Wolf Ray A-104 will definitely go supernova sometime in the next few hundred thousand years. At 8,000 light years away, the explosion itself poses no threat to the Earth. But there's a chance the supernova will trigger the most violent event